Solara, which is a uh, 56 unit affordable housing development. It's uh, really a, a leader in among affordable housing. We have the highest percentage of photovoltaic solar of any affordable housing in California. So now we're uh, at Solara, and we were last here two years ago. Now we have actual operational data to check to see if what we expected we actually delivered in, in practice. Somebody's got to quantify what energy you're going to save, what something offers you in your building, and we don't have those models, and Global Green helped us. Global Green's been, been critical to making Solara a success. So our first expectation was that Solara would produce about 90% of its annual electricity needs on site here with photovoltaic energy. After two years, we know that Solara produced 87%. I'd like to uh, thank Community Housing Works and Global Green for being involved in building a, this project and for setting an example and a model for other builders to follow in so that they can preserve our environment and uh, think about our uh, future generations. The next thing we expected was that the tenant utility bills would be reduced by about 70%, and we're right there again, 68% reduction. The Brain Trust in Santa Monica, Global Green, and uh, Walker Wells and Ted Bardicke, uh, we make pilgrimages to Santa Monica to talk to these guys about uh, energy efficiency. And Our goal was to have each unit cost no more than $5,000 extra. In fact, we were able to do this for just over $1,500 extra per unit. This project has received a lot of attention because it's the first of its kind, but it's not going to be the last. Los Vecinos is Spanish for the neighbors. It is a 42 unit uh, project with a mixture of one, two, and three bedrooms. We estimate that the extra cost of going green, and that's, and that's everything included, was approximately one to two percent of the uh, total project cost. Clearly what was replicated here first and foremost was the financial package um, of bundling tax credit equity with uh, utility incentives and rebates, as well as the federal uh, solar tax credit. We proved that uh, this could be done and done over and over. This project in particular, uh, the second one that Global Green has undergone, is, is pushing the envelope even further. Everything that we did, we looked at, you know, is there a green sustainable way to do it? Dual plane, low E windows, non VOC paints, tankless water heating system, Energy Star rated appliances, cabinets are urea formaldehyde free, it's a dual flush toilet, irrigation system is 100% drip. This rubberized play saver is made from 100% recycled tires, plastics in the playground equipment, recycled milk bottles. This this project is reducing water consumption in probably about 45 percent. We're estimating anywhere from 90 to 100 percent of our electrical use will be generated by these roof solar panels. It was much easier having the experts from Global Green at our design table. It would probably take us several years longer to get where we're at today without their help. The rent discounts for these 42 families, it comes up to about a quarter of a million dollars a year that they have for health care, education, transportation. Oh, it's uh, very comfortable, it's more cheaper. Uh, I feel happy here.